joined by Philippe Ravel, also of Tahiti. And we're underway in this one. So much at stake for both sides. A place at the FIFA Under-20 World Cup in Colombia and the draw for that tournament was held last night. And the winner of this match will be thrown into uh, Group B. And it's a group that contains Portugal, Uruguay and Cameroon. New Zealand have three titles and Tahiti two. So this is on site here. New Zealand uh, flag stake down. It's Chattelbra for New Zealand. Go! Oh, no. Five minutes gone. Corey Chattelbra has opened the scoring for his country. Oh, the Solomon Island back four has just gone to sleep there. Thinking that uh, Galbraith was offside, but Chittlebar has uh, made the late run from midfield, as we see here. And he's done very well. He's made his way into the box. And a lovely finish at the near post. But uh, again, you'd have to question the goalkeeper being beaten at the near post. And New Zealand, the confidence will be high now. And that's a clever little through ball. Silas Sada. Lecro with the throw-in, looking for Musa. Augustine Samani's got it. And right across the face of goal. <laughs> and it struck the post. He's actually handed the, handled the ball, isn't he, at the far post? Well, that had 2-0 written all over it, but... And here we see the, uh, the long throw. Again, Musa the target. It's fallen free. Uh, Lucas unmarked at the near post, and he's played across the face of the goal. And I don't know how... Branch did not score there. So Solomon's lucky to get away with that. You get the impression that uh, Solomon Islands have a chance. Great ball from... Uh, Solomon's can level. They <laughs> have! Pimpson to later has leveled the game in the 23rd minute. This is unbelievable. And uh, exactly what we know the Solomons are capable of. Been under pressure for the first 20 minutes and to come out with a goal like that what a fantastic finish look at that first touch there Gordon right in behind the defenders he's done him for pace and uh, he's given Moranovic no chance what a goal and a look of sheer delight we talked about the quality delivery earlier Gordon going into the front runners the first time we've had a decent pass uh, one opportunity and a goal got a chance to come forward here Ethan Galbraith has got Rojas and Lucas to his left. It's played Lucas. Now Rojas. Oh, and he's hit the crossbar. But we see here, Gordon, uh, the, the end result. Lovely shot off the crossbar. Solomon saved again. But uh, before that passage of play, two Solomon defenders uh, diving on the ground, easily beaten and created a three-on-two for New Zealand. We'll be back for the second half uh, in approximately 10 minutes' time. To, uh, Oh, good variation on the corner. These silly errors. Chance here. Goal for New Zealand. Andy Bibbon. 58 minutes and New Zealand back in front. Here we see here in swing and corner. Flicked on by uh, Hobbs. Solomon's have pass, partially cleared. It's knocked back in by Rowe. Moose has flicked it on to Bevan. He's volleyed that well in for a finish. But the game's starting to open up here. Bosso, it looks a bit short. Chance for Lucas. Round the keeper. 3-1 for New Zealand. And they will feel that uh, they're one step closer to Colombia. Dakota Lucas, well, Colin, starting to go New Zealand's way now. Well, I mean, uh, Solomon's just uh, gift-wrapped that and given it to New Zealand. And... Uh, Again, uh, it's just an example of how they've started the second half, Gordon. Lots and lots of errors, and they've just gifted New Zealand a goal here. And you know what a fantastic opportunity that lies ahead for New Zealand, Gordon, and these players.
uh, the next three or four months. Prepare for a tournament at the it's all uh, over. World Cup in Colombia. And New Zealand are the OSC U20 champions for the fourth time. They've qualified for the FIFA Under-20 World Cup in Colombia in July, August. Chris, you've made it to the World Cup. How does that feel? Feels pretty good. It was a pretty ugly game of football, but I don't think I've ever had my teams play a final. It was a good game of football. It is what it is. And you know that you've got Cameroon, uh, Portugal and Uruguay to come at the FIFA World Cup. So uh, how do you feel about that draw? It's pretty frightening, but we get to go play uh, Korea, Uruguay and uh, Nigeria next week. So that'll be a firm understanding of where we're sitting. So we'll, we'll have a look. Um, hopefully we'll never play like that again, but we won the game. OK, congratulations. You gave them a real threat scoring in that first half, making it 1-1, but you just couldn't quite hold on in the second half. No, uh, the boys did not uh, hold on in the second half, and uh, uh, the, the, the mistakes was, were done by ourselves, it, and the uh, opportunities available to New Zealand uh, s score, and that is some of the things uh, we could learn from. But are you proud of the team from the start to the finish of this to tournament? I am very proud of the team uh, and uh, the boys themselves are proud of themselves and I think they did great. Okay, thanks very much. Thank you. So, Michael, a very tough match today but New Zealand were just too good. Uh, we think New Zealand is a good team. Uh, it's an organised team and we, we managed to hold them in the first half but we ourselves let us down in the second half and it's, 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 it's good for us. To, to compete against a good team like this. In future, maybe, it's, it's our chance to, to, to go with this kind of team that they, um, they have some quality players inside here. And we, we ourselves, let us down in this game. And what do you think of your t performance today? Um, it was good. We, I can't actually fault today. We got, the three, we got the points. We won it, so it's good. You came together at the start of this tournament and a lot of you hadn't played together. You're based overseas, so you feel that the group has come together well? Yes, 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 definitely. We're finally gelled. We gelled in probably the first game. It took a couple of games, actually. Uh, we played, what, seven all up now, and the team's looking good, and now we've just got to look forward to Colombia, all the hard work. New Zealand are champions of the OFC U20 Championship and they're on their way to Colombia. Uh, certainly a big challenge ahead for these players in uh, Colombia.